about, I want to say like 18 years old when I started smoking. I was 15. 16, 17 years old? I started smoking when I was about 16 years old. It was in my early 20s. I don't remember exactly. I think it was 21 or 22. Nine or 10 years old when I started smoking. Growing up in Indonesia, it was pretty normal to see a lot of underage smoking cigarettes. I started smoking, at first it was casually, at parties, with friends, it was just a social thing at first. I'd hang out with like a group of friends every day outside of school, and they always, always, always had cigarettes. My mom had a birthday party, and uh, she was a little intoxicated, and she had mistaken me for her older cousin, Justin, and it was only me and her in the backyard. And she said, Justin, come light me a cigarette. So I didn't see him, so I went over there, I lit the cigarette, I inhaled, and then I started coughing, and then she realized it was me. Everyone in the family was smokers. All my classmates, I hang out with a bunch of security guards at school. Most of my friends smoke cigarettes, so I guess peer pressure, and then a lot of people just smokes. I was at my friend's house. We were uh, hanging out, normal 15-year-old stuff, and uh, it was getting pretty late and everything and we were hanging out in the backyard and his dad was smoking and a couple of his dad's friends were smoking and I just asked if I could have one and it kind of just started from there. It started with one. It just started with me like, oh, okay, I'll join in socially smoking every here and there um, whenever anybody has some extras. Well, I was hanging out with a friend, and uh, he was from out of state visiting me. We were drinking whiskey or something, and then he handed me a Marlboro Light, and I uh, lit it up, and I said, okay, this is pretty cool. Um, you know, in hindsight, that was very, very stupid, but uh, that's, how, that's how it all began. My aunt was living with us, too, and she would always send a, me down to the liquor store that our friend owned at the time, so he would never card me or ask me questions. And I'd always take a couple of them before I'd give her the pack. Every time I was with my friends smoking, um, I started to try to get a hold of cigarettes. Um, and my all my family members smoked, so it wasn't very difficult. I smoked for about 10 years. About 13 years solid smoking. I smoked for about two years, five, six years. I smoked for about eight years. About 12 years. Roughly about 16 years. In the heavy times, about a pack and a half a day, probably. And in the lighter times, maybe five to ten cigarettes a day. A pack every three to four days? Two packs a day. A pack to a pack and a half a day. I used to smoke Less than a pack on average, uh, but if I was, you know, going out drinking whatever, it would be a pack or you know even a little more. Um, just a lot of trips to the liquor store, just picking up, you know, packs of Marlboro Lights, very expensive. I wasn't like your average smoker. I would have a pack for about a week. Smoking made me feel disgusting. Um, <laughs> I think at first smoking was just kind of this, uh, like having a beer, like just, you know, you're sitting with a bunch of friends and you're all cracking open a beer, well you're all cracking open a pack of cigarettes. I was pretty sluggish in the morning because waking up I would grab a stove, before breakfast grab a stove, after eating breakfast another stove. I was dizzy, I just felt like I was out of breath. Breathing was pretty hard. Um, you just feel lazy the entire day. Flavor on your mouth, it all tastes like tobacco. You don't really taste the food, whatever you drink. When I was younger, definitely kind of a, oh, I felt cool, but uh, when I got older, it was just kind of a, I do this. Smoking made me feel okay. I, I didn't do it for the cool factor or anything. It was more of uh, something to do if you're waiting for the bus or you're just outside of a, a bar or a club, you're talking to people. It was just it's something to do and then it became a you know physical habit, uh, mental habit. Smoking made me feel cool at one point because I did it with a bunch of my friends, but it did make me feel slower and more sluggish 
and at sometimes I wasn't really able to breathe. Smoking made me feel relieved. I really liked smoking after a meal. It just seemed complete. After, after eating, if I didn't smoke, it didn't feel right. Just like any time that I had to kill, I would smoke a cigarette. If I'm like waiting for someone, I would smoke a cigarette. Just any time that I had available, I guess. I would say that I was just sick of smelling like cigarette smoke. Um, I used to work in a restaurant before EC Supply and I would help our guests and I just smell like cigarette smoke all the time. I realized I don't want to be doing this. I, I already smelled awful. I mean, you, you take a shower with your green apple shampoo and then you come out, smoke a cigarette and you smell like, like boo boo. <laughs> I found it really hard for myself to breathe when I was doing just regular things on a day to day basis. And I knew that I just needed to change my lifestyle a little bit just to be a little bit healthier. It was, it was about time. Uh, I was just uh, sick and tired of you know, smelling like cigarettes. And I, I knew the, the harm that it did uh, health-wise. And also cigarettes, at least in California, they went up to, I think it was like, they started reaching like 950 at the store and that was way too much. So for health reasons and financial reasons, I decided enough's enough. I'm gonna look for another option. In 2016, I was diagnosed with a first stage of pneumothorax, which is a first stage of collapsed lungs. And since then, that's when I thought about myself, that I should think about my health. I didn't discover vaping until I first uh, heard about this job. I was offered a position uh, in marketing, and uh, it's funny, I brought a 7-Eleven uh, views that I bought to the interview, thinking maybe, you know, people would take me seriously as a vapor, but uh, I just kind of got a lot of weird and awkward looks, and I was handed a uh, Sigeli 75 watt. I forget the tank, I think it was maybe a Nautilus or a Cleto tank. Um, but yeah, that was my first uh, experience with vaping. Probably discovered vaping when I started here. I was still smoking. I started in reception and my manager gave me an MVP from Inigan. He literally said, stop smoking cigarettes, try this. I mean, and it kind of just blossomed from there. I kind of smoked in between, but it really got me to stop smoking cigarettes altogether. I discovered vaping probably about seven or eight years ago. Um, I discovered it through a buddy of mine who purchased the Provari device. Um, I asked him a couple questions about it and I found that there was a local vape shop down the street from where I lived. Um, and I went there, purchased a couple of Ego AIOs, a couple of Cardo tanks and a few liquids. And I just vaped from there and haven't touched a cigarette since. I discovered vaping through a friend, actually. Um, he told me about this vape shop opening, I guess they were looking to hire. And I mean, I had friends that already vaped, but I really got into it when I started working there. Ex-girlfriend. Um, she, she had wanted me to quit smoking, and at the time I was really interested in quitting smoking. And so I used her vape for Geez, six months or something like that, maybe longer. <clears throat> and um, then after that, I just started smoking again, and then I started working here and started vaping again. Flavors definitely played a role in me quitting cigarettes. Again, I was just tired of smelling disgusting. So um, the flavor that I actually started vaping with was Seven Day Selfie Sunday, and up until now, that's pretty much all I vape. I believe the flavor I started with was Hype uh, by Junkie Juice, and yeah, I wouldn't vape a tobacco flavor. I just there's just no no point in that. Uh, flavors uh, definitely absolutely got me uh, to quit smoking cigarettes. What really really got me stuck was this strawberry shortcake. It was just. It was so much more worth it than lighting up the cigarette because it's like I already want a strawberry shortcake like every day of my life, but now I can just have it and I don't have to actually like go run across the world to go find one. 
Flavors played a big role because I'm pretty picky when it comes to flavors and vaping. Um, but thankfully I was able to find that specific flavor from them. Um, I started off with a 12 milligram and I started to work my way down from there. Flavor wasn't the main reason for me vaping. Uh, most of the time it was the nicotine craving for me to vape. I started with 24 and slowly, gradually going down, hopefully maybe zero milligrams in the future. I just want to make myself more healthier than how I was years back. I don't know if they necessarily played a role, but I definitely, when I first started vaping, I vaped the tobacco flavors, which now that I've tried them again recently, I wasn't as interested. And uh, what uh, said ex-girlfriend vaped was uh, usually something menthol-y, fruity, and I remembered being like, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty tasty, so I was like, I'll jump back onto those. I do feel like if my options were limited flavor-wise, it would make vaping a lot more difficult just because there's less variety. And I do like fruity flavors and candy flavors, so yeah, that would make it a really difficult choice for me to keep vaping. I honestly don't know if I would continue vaping just because I think it makes it a little bit more enjoyable. And you have a little more variety than just your tobaccos, your menthols, things like that. I just, I just don't think I would continue vaping, honestly. I would probably still vape if flavored vape wasn't available. Uh, I wouldn't like it. Uh, it would suck, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I would probably still vape. But I'll tell you what, I probably wouldn't have started vaping if flavored uh, vape wasn't available. I'd probably still have continued smoking cigarettes. I would definitely still vape if flavored e-juice was no longer available. Like, I wouldn't be vaping tobacco or whatever, um, because I think at this point I've far gotten over the flavor of tobacco. It's really, it's really at first just a way to uh, simulate cigarettes. But now, I definitely would keep vaping because I think it's ridiculous that they would take away flavoring just because of vaping. Vaping is just one thing that contains flavors. There's alcohol, there's candy, there's plenty of things out there that use flavoring. So for them to just isolate vaping and take away flavoring for just that industry seems ridiculous to me. But also, I feel like if it really became unavailable, well, there, where there's a will, there's a way. I will find a way to get a hold of some flavoring and make e-juice myself if I have to. You know, I've, I've done it before, before the regulations hit. I made my own e-liquid and it wasn't unsafe. It wasn't this ridiculous process that they make it out to be. I would definitely find a way to keep vaping. Honestly, I feel a lot healthier, a lot better. I, I feel like I'm able to breathe a lot easier. I always had pretty heavy lungs in the morning when I, when I was smoking, and it's just a lot less now. I now live an active, healthy lifestyle. I'm eating great. I'm working out four or five days a week. I feel so much better overall, just because like I personally don't feel like I smell a lot, and I'm able to just kind of smell like laundry, fresh laundry, and not cigarettes. I don't have to struggle every day when it comes to just little things like walking up the stairs or getting from point A to point B. I feel a lot better health-wise. I definitely feel like my lungs have cleaned up quite a bit. Breathe a lot easier, food tastes better, my sense of smell has returned, um, I don't wake up uh, coughing in the, in the morning, so a world of difference for me. I don't have trouble breathing, I can run, I can go down the stairs without huffing and puffing, so it's definitely changed my life. My lungs feel better, I don't have to feel out of breath when I walk a short distance or anything like that, so it's definitely changed for the better. I quit. 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 I quit by using flavored vapor.